This video has no intro, cause I didn't write an intro, wait. Hello everybody and happy Wednesday, so I've been wanting to make this video for quite a while. The video is about the importance of being terrible, and in the spirit of that, I'm not wearing my sweater, I'm using a shotgun mic instead of my lav mic, it might be off. And since the shotgun mic is up there, the lighting might be bad in close-ups like this, but let's dive in. So every so often, people who want to start making YouTube videos ask me for some advice. As though I know what I'm talking about. But the one thing I always tell them is get used to the idea that your first few videos are going to be terrible, borderline unwatchable. Because it doesn't really matter how much you practice your diction, or how long you spent script writing, or how well you studied your camera manual, when you turn it on and try and start making videos, it's gonna be a disaster. There's a book by Malcolm Gladwell called Outliers, and it popularizes this idea that you need 10,000 hours of practice to be amazing at something. And sure, practice matters, but I still got a big problem with this idea. Namely, that it takes more than just practice. Because no amount of singing into your hairbrush is going to fully prepare you for your first karaoke night. When we do things, it's important that we practice and come in with as much preparation so we can be as good as we possibly can be, but you still have to be willing to take the risk that it might be terrible. Because the problem is if you're not willing for something to be terrible, then you're not able to take risks, and that's where creativity comes from. So why am I bringing this up now? Well, I've been having a rather poorly hidden nervous breakdown over the past two weeks. And it really started with gearing up to my 100th video, and it hasn't gone away since. And I've been trying to figure out why this is, and what I realized is that now that I sorta know how YouTube works, I feel like every video that I make has to be necessarily better than the last. And to be honest, that's a fantastic goal, the idea that you want to continually improve and produce better and better stuff. But it's completely unrealistic and destructive. And what I've realized is that this advice that I've been giving out to people about their first few videos not being very good, that's going to be true for everybody for the rest of their YouTube life. And I don't exempt myself from that. Some of my future videos, and who knows, maybe even this video must be awful. But here's the even more insidious part. If they're not, it means you're doing something wrong. If you don't have a video that's a disaster, you're not taking the risks that you need to grow as a creator. And I have to say, while I think this information is fairly universally relevant, this is really kind of a pep talk for me. I'm gonna force myself to watch this video later. So here's the real message. Be terrible. Screw up. Create a complete disaster. It means you're trying something. No amount of practice, no amount of studying, no amount of repeating a sure thing can possibly compare to what you learn by taking a risk and screwing it all up. So make something terrible, please, and don't let the risk of not being perfect stop you from trying in the first place. Have a fantastic Wednesday, and I'll see you on Friday. Bye. Hey.